desperate times call for desperate measures. And then I wanted to reread the entire book. And now it just looks like we're going to eventually walk into this abyss. Only six steps remaining. We'll see how long it actually takes me. Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And this vlog is going to be my accountability vlog because I am ready to freaking finish Project Purple. I am exceedingly close, like so close. Like I only have a little bit of final touches. Like I have to name a couple of characters. I do need to actually write a couple of the scenes that I'm putting in at the end, but it's all very little things. And I've just been kind of dragging my feet on it because as I've talked a lot about how this is just the revision that I don't like, but now we're coming up on the revision that I do like, AKA injecting those scenes. <laughs> but the thing about this accountability vlog is that I'm actually, I don't know if you can see my bed, I am actually packing to go on a trip soon, like tomorrow, like the flights at 6 a.m. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> so I know I'm going to have all that time on the multiple plane rides and then a train ride, I think. Like I just, I have a lot, a lot of time. And theoretically, the rest of Project Purple shouldn't actually take that much time. So I'm hoping in recording it, I will finally kick my own butt to do it. So you guys are gonna be my accountability buddies for the next however many days, hopefully not too many, hopefully like four. <laughs> now I do plan on working on this tonight. It is actually 8.04 on Saturday. We leave on Sunday to go to Atlantic City. I've never been before. I'm very excited. Even though the flight's at 6 a.m. I'm really not tired. So I do think by the time I am done packing, I will actually manage to work a little bit more than I did just this morning on Project Purple. So fingers crossed, but of course I gotta actually pack first. These are all rompers. I have so many rompers. At some point you think I would stop. These are rompers too. This is too much, honestly. But while I start packing, I'm going to finish watching Emily's vlog about beta readers. I am going to be going through that process soon on both Project Purple and the Meridian Maps, AKA Project Blue. I really wanna get her opinion because I think I'm finally gonna start branching out and getting like maybe some people that I've met through YouTube to beta read for me. So yeah, anyways, okay, <sighs> time to pack and watch Emily's video again going to be fun and going to be a bit of an escape. And what was super interesting about the settings comments? My first writing goal Okay, I finished Emily's video. Now I switched to Tay Buggy's goals check-in video. Both of those lovely author tubers are going to be in the same cabin as me for this upcoming Camp Nanorama, so I'm very excited about that. But now, what time is it now? I still need to pack things like my toiletries and like my computer, but I'm currently using my computer, so obviously I'm not gonna pack that. It is now 8.38. PM. I'm gonna reiterate again that my flight's at six. I have to wake up at four in order to get there. <sighs> Let me see if I can pull up my Scrivener file. All right, so I have my Scrivener file and my Aeon timeline pulled up. Here's what's kind of funky. So I had to put flags on these scenes because some of them, like, Everything around scene 57 are scenes that need to be included for the first time. Hello. <laughs> so I am doing some kind of zero drafty sort of stuff, which I'm very excited about. But this also means that like, all of those scenes around that need to be edited. And ultimately, I don't know that that's actually where I want those scenes to be. I know that's about where I want the scene to be, but not that it's like, not that it's perfect. That being said, I have been going through and I'm only on the portion where I'm highlighting the red within act three. So I have seen 52 to scene 56, which I can go ahead and continue to mark with red because I'm relatively certain that they'll stay where they are. And I feel like that's something I can do tonight, just reading through it. So what am I doing wasting time? <laughs> Let's do this. All right. So the only scene I have left over to highlight in red after I've read through it is scene 56. That's pretty good progress, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so close to the end. So scene 56, I have the conclusion scene, which should more or less stay the same. Currently scene 58, but like I've put three more scenes in between 56 and 58. So that's not how numbers work. I'll have to fix that. Ugh. Basically the remaining plans for Project Purple are read through the remaining parts of act three and highlight with red. Add in the three scenes I'm thinking of for the first time. Go back over those and make sure they align with the timeline. Then read through the entire thing again, correcting for things like the remaining injuries I wasn't sure of, 
adding in any names that I haven't already added, and that's it. So I don't know how many, how many things that ended up being that were left, but anyways, <laughs> that's what I got to do, and I'm just so very close. Ah, okay, but I'm about to like pass out. I can feel it. So I'm actually going to file, save this, and then X out of my Scrivener file. But before I go to bed, look at this. I only have two days remaining in my trial period. I'ma buy it. Let me go get my wallet. Call it. And bye now. Yay. Activate license. Yay. Okay. I don't think I've bought software for anything since buying Scrivener. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So anyways, but I really do, y'all. I am now fully obsessed with Aeon Timeline. <laughs> I do think in not too long a period, I'm going to start buying the like Adobe Suite. I know that's a monthly thing, but like it'll help me format my books, eBooks, print books, whatever. And then also any kind of Photoshop that I need. <sighs> Yeah, I think I might have to do it so that I can get both of those. And then I think there's an added bonus of like whatever their um, video software is. I think that might be fun to play with because I usually just do stuff in iMovie. So that'll be interesting. I will let y'all know how that goes. I've got my notebook. I've got my pens and I've got the book I will be reading on my trip. I'm very excited. Into the bag you go. All right, I'm basically done and packed and now it's just time for me to take out my contacts and go to bed. I will see you all at four in the morning. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, it's too early to be excited, but I am ready. <laughs> It was just last name everywhere in all caps. So I figured out a name and I'm changing her best friend's name. And I figured out that name. It's gonna be Kara instead of Christy. And then I figured out a couple of the injuries. I just need to actually research how much time needs to be spent at the hospital and like critical care. But I figured I'd ask dad and David. 
and yeah. can, like kind of give me a better idea. Yeah, day. <laughs> because researching medical stuff is just something that just goes over my head. But y'all, we're done with. So there's something interesting about these houses compared to like I'm so used to Texas houses and like a lot of stone. These are the wood paneling with the slanted roofs. It's for the snow. It's just something that in Texas we almost never have to worry about. And so it's just interesting. I forget how different the East Coast has to be than like the Southern Coast. So yeah, it's always just fun to see the differences. I am thinking of things. The writer brain is always going. Also. We are very up close today. <laughs> oh my god, the train is sleeping. He's so sleepy. We're gonna take a nap. She wants a nap too. <laughs> outside look at that it's just it's all there's nothing but fog all of the fog I am fog <laughs> I am grouped okay I'm so sorry <laughs> so over that way is where our hotel is that you can't see and over that way is the ocean, which you also can't see. And now it just looks like we're going to eventually walk into this abyss. We're going to disappear into the fog. Something about a warlock. <laughs> oh my gosh, the warlock at the boardwalk. I like it. Now we're walking the beach. Yeah, we have fun. All good things. So you can see the waves. Then there's the pier in the distance. Dangerous currents. So you can see the red flag in the distance, kind of, which I think is interesting. So as someone who writes pirate novels, it's always fun to see the actual waves and what we consider to be like a dangerous current versus what I think when I'm writing my novel. Oh, look at her go. No, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> hmm. My new theory is that casinos would be extra creepy place to have like scary stuff happen. Usual things. Yeah. They had a highlight for it. Where the waves start to just blend in with the fog. I love that. <laughs> well, today's the day we leave. <laughs> as far as work I've gotten done while here, I would sum it up with the phrase, not a lot. 
not a lot of work done. But I did start writing the bit of the shirtless scene, the shirtless scene that's then going to turn into like a pseudo, mm, I haven't decided if I want it to be Christmas or New Year's. I think it would be really fun to make up like New Year's traditions for Martellono, which is a made up country, but is set in the very real South America. So I need to figure out what kind of traditions I can put in there that would make sense, especially because that time period is, it's warm. Unlike the US, <laughs> it is warm during New Year's. That'll be a little bit different. I think it could be really fun though, especially because at the end of the book, Jenny is like, when she's summing up everything, the conclusion sort of chapter, she says that she's like now the Martellona outreach person on social media and stuff. Like it's just, yeah. So I think it would be fun for her to actually get to experience more of the traditions. Like I think it'd be more fun for the reader. I think it'd be more fun for the reader to see her experience those traditions. So I think those scenes are going to blend in together. And now that I've talked about it, I've decided I think it is gonna be New Year's and not Christmas. But I think that I will be able to get that done today while traveling. We still have to take a train, two trains, then two plane rides. So like there's plenty of time. <laughs> I'll just pull out my computer and write. So yeah, but otherwise this has been an excellent trip. I got a lot of inspiration just for other stories in the future. Like walking around that empty casino was fascinating and creepy. And then my mom saying warlocks on the boardwalk. I'm like, I could combine those two and make something really fun. <laughs> So anyways, I just have some thoughts and I'm excited to play around with them in the future. But now, now it's time to leave. Goodbye, Veal. Goodbye forever. It's not as dramatic when I didn't pull the one. Okay, okay, hold on. Goodbye forever. <laughs>a live write-in celebrating Emily's 30th birthday on her channel. I'm so excited and I'm just now looking at Project Purple for the first time since my trip. Man, I'm just so freaking close. I'm ready to be done. This is the part of revisions I always get to where I'm just more ready to be done, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> I need to get my charger in for this live write-in because otherwise that would be awful if it just died halfway through. <laughs> There we go. And there we go. Now to catch you up to speed again, or to catch myself up to speed, I have several scenes that I have not yet like figured out the order at at the very end. I also have not added them to my timeline yet, to my Aeon timeline. So I have that to do as well. I think my plan is actually going to be to write those scenes during this write-in. So I'll actually get to type stuff instead of just awkwardly revising, staring and rereading. And then of course, after that, I'll have to revise and make sure it all flows. But yay, I'm so excited. Oh, okay. All right, I got my cappuccino, I got my water. Y'all, I'm freaking ready to write. Just a few minutes left. Ah! We are in the middle of a 20 minute word sprint. I'm obviously taking a little bit of a break right now. So I've written all of the shirtless pool scene, the pool that's the size of the lake. Now I'm writing the coffee with the queen scene. And then I only have one other scene to put in, so. Yay, yay, yay. We're done, we're done. Look at all those colors, we're done. So I didn't actually finish that scene, the 
coffee, snacks, whatever with the queen of Martellona. I'm closer. I'm like halfway through. Actually, I'm probably a third of the way through. I think it's going to be a little bit longer scene because I need to wrap up. It's the end, right? We're at the end of a lot of things, so everything really needs to wrap up and finalize and like hit that last emotional note. So yeah, yeah. And since I decided to keep her alive, she's gotta have something to say. And so yeah, anyways, okay. File, save, time to X out of that. Time to X out of that. Tomorrow's Monday, I will be sure to pick this up where I left off. I'm gonna actually try and finish Project Purple. Okay, I'm gonna say new goal, new goal Wednesday. You ever say something and then you immediately hear back and you're like, that's dumb. But no, Wednesday, I guess that's what I'm going with. So, okay. <sighs> Puppy, did you just get back from a big old walk? Yeah. I'm at the point where I have only like half a scene left to write fully for the first time. Then I'm going to have to reread all of act three. Then I have, what else do I have? I need to make a list. Yeah. All right, time to write out my steps, my plan. All right, I have a one, two, three, four, five, six step plan. Only six steps remaining. We'll see how long it actually takes me. <laughs> but it is 6.39 p.m. right now. And Becca is actually going to be hosting a live ride in at seven tonight. I'm gonna jump on the call with her and we're gonna chat and hang out and most importantly, write. So hopefully I can tick off at least one. <laughs> we'll set the bar low. Look at how pretty the background is that Becca chose. I love it. Time. Woo. Woo. I went quick. I actually finished a chapter and started a new one. How are you? Yay! Well, I got 622 words, but I did not finish. <laughs> Where every time I think a scene is not gonna be very long, it ends up being super long, but every time I think a scene's gonna take me a while, it's like super short. So I am close though. I'm gonna say 200 more words. <laughs> All right, I muted myself, but with seconds to spare, not seconds, but with minutes to spare in our final word sprint, I finished. I finished. Becca doesn't know it yet, but I finished. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, so it's the next day, a Saturday, and I know I said that I didn't want to try and work on the weekends, but desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> and the countdown to Camp NaNoWriMo is very real now. So before I continue going down my list, I actually need to add this new scene. I've got question marks on these two scenes. I need to add them into my timeline, which has disappeared on me. Where are you? There we go. <laughs> oh wow, also I didn't notice until now that the scene 56, 57, 58, 57, 58. <laughs> Hooray, it's all done. I have 62 scenes. All right. I got my cake pot and I am ready to reread act three. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, okay, so I finished rereading all of act three and I marked it up. Everything is read like it needs to be. And I think those new scenes I added do flow. I also know that I need some separation from it in order to know that for sure, but oh, I, I didn't have any immediate warning signs, I guess is probably the better way to put it, which is good, which is what I wanted, or I didn't want Whatever. <laughs> that does mean I think I can cross off two things on my list. Reread Act 3 done. And I highlighted the inconsistencies and I put them in the new timeline. Yes! Okay. So, the only thing left to do is call my brother and ask for certain about injuries, the things I need clarification on. I want to fix the names, so like changing Christy to Kara and adding in the places where I don't have my main character's last name in there. And then I'm going to reread the entire book. To be honest, this one is questionable because just off of the way that rereading Act 3 was for me, I don't know how much rereading the whole book is actually going to help at that point, other than catching these little things that 
I haven't fixed completely. Mm, yeah, I don't know. So I might leave that one. What I'm debating my plan of being is instead of leaving it two months, I might leave it one month, read it after Camp NaNoWriMo is over, and then if there's there shouldn't be any big things there and then I can give it to beta readers and then I still won't touch it until the beta readers are done. And so then I won't touch it till after August. So I think in some ways that's almost like my two month rule. We'll find out, but I think I'm done with Project Purple for today. I think that's what I'm saying. My cute little brusky bro bro. How are you doing? Good. Got my notebook set up. I'm ready to ask questions. I think there's only two that I really need to ask. Okay. Alrighty. So the first question is, I guess I should give you some context. Typically, um, just basic everyday tasks like walking, yeah. running, being able to put weight on it. So most of the time when you do physical therapy, you're in rehabilitation, which means you're just trying to, you know, heal your injuries. Yeah. I know physical therapy is used a lot after procedures. The kind of stuff that you would need to be on the lookout for. All right. Say goodbye to the vlog. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I was working on my Kanban board slash my 90 day plan because I am switching over to tracking my goals and setting goals quarterly rather than like yearly with like a monthly thing. Yeah, I never thought I would do quarterly goals and now I'm here to say that that's what I'm gonna try. The other thing I'm here to say is that today is Saturday the 29th of June, which means I really don't have a lot of time until Camp NaNoWriMo starts. But thankfully, I am about to host a write-in on my channel. I've got Phoebe joining me. I've got Becca joining me. I've got Emily joining me. I've got Laura joining me. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And let me show you what I have left to do. So I have, ooh, I get to cross something off my list. The thing about lists is that you kind of have to keep up with them, you know? So I did end up calling my brother and I wasn't that far off with the whole injuries thing. I actually don't think that I'll need to change much of my story at all to fix it. This is some of the benefit of writing it from first person point of view like she's obviously not a doctor so I don't have to be really technical with it and to the, and I'm not technical with it so hooray. <laughs> so originally I wrote that the only other thing that I really wanted to do on my list was to fix the names a la changing Christy to Cara plugging in Disney World for the redacted by publisher bits and so forth and such on. That doesn't make sense it's fine. <laughs> so on and such forth so on and so forth. What the heck? <laughs> and then I wanted to reread the entire book. I'm not gonna do that anymore. No, no, no. <laughs> Which means that the right end that I will be at in just a little bit, I'm really just going to focus on like changing the names and doing all those little things. Now I do have a little bit of red left. I posted about it on Instagram. Little bit of red left. Just a little bit. But some of it is just for that naming stuff. And like sometimes when I was writing those new scenes, I forgot who I named as the bad guy because I had named him earlier in the book. And so I just hadn't gone back to look at it because I was just going, going, going. Very zero drafty, you know? Here's to hoping that I can get all of that done during this write-in. I feel like that's crazy. I have, I'm gonna have to go back and count how many times I thought I was going to be done with their thing. Like I have already started editing this vlog back and I was like, oh, it'll be done by Wednesday. But that was like a week and a half ago that I said that and it was not. It's just, I've passed every bar. <laughs> All right, so let's get this stuff pulled up. And now we want other features and live events. I still need to pull up Project Purple Draft 3. Yay! It's me! I don't want to start my broadcast just yet though because I gotta invite some people. Are y'all ready to start the broadcast? Yep. All right. Yep. Pressing the button. Hello everyone! Oh, all right, so the write-in is over. And like I said on the stream, I actually finished all of the red with the exception of like, this is the CNN anchor I need to name. Like it's just, whew. I still need to change 
Christy Dakara. I need to name the bad guy who I never named. Oops. And I also need to come up with a fake country name. And then from that point on, there's nothing that I can do with my brain right now that is going to be helpful because the rest of it is just making sure that when I reread it, it reads well. Like as a reader, do I enjoy this? As a reader, do those scenes I added make sense? That's what I got to figure out. And to do that, I need to take the break from it. So I, I guess this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna name some people. This is my least favorite part. <laughs> I need Emily and Laura to like give me the strength I need to do this because I don't wanna, maybe I'll, I'll leave that for tomorrow. It is right now 8.06 on the Saturday before Camp NaNoWriMo. I have done a fair amount of work in this story today already. So you know what? Yeah, this is the choice I'm making right now. If it's a mistake, it's a mistake. I'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna test if what we did just worked. We're going to try and find quick search. Yes! Look at that, it even changed it on my little scene names. It's done, I'm done, it's done, I'm done. Ah! I did it, I did it, just before Camp did arrive out, I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost wanna cry, like I'm so happy it's done, but also it, because it took me so much longer than I ever But it's done, but it's done. Are you proud of me, puppy? Do you see how close he's sitting today? That looks like a proud puppy, doesn't it? <laughs> At this point, I don't know if for sure I'm going to stick with the names I ended up choosing for the people that I had to still fill in, but something is there and that's what's important. Christy is now Cara. Everything is right. Well, that maybe not, but like everything's done. <laughs> done enough for draft three. I could say it, Project Purple Draft 3 is over. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not gonna get over this. I'm just so excited to, that I can now think about camp fully because I've been holding off on thinking about Project Blue 2 in order to finish freaking Project Purple. <laughs> so I'm just so happy. Please do comment down below. Let me know if you had any projects that you wanted to complete before Camp NaNoWriMo. Did you succeed in them? Please tell me about a time where you thought you were gonna be done with something and then you kept missing the, the, the deadlines. The deadlines you set yourself because I just, that was the story of this draft for me was every time I thought it was gonna be done, it didn't get done. And now to be fair, I was working on a lot of other projects at the same time because hello, I'm Kate, this is what I like to do. But still, this was like extra, extra bad, extra long, extra not hitting the deadlines, but but it's done, but it's done now. <laughs> but yeah, comment down below. Tell me about a story. I would love to hear about it. Make me feel better. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and thank you especially to some of my new patrons this month. Jill Fogarty, Fran Lola Cano, Christy Fitzpatrick, Shelly Perrin, and Zerk Balatieri. And I will see you all very soon with a new video and a whole lot of camp stuff. <laughs> Bye. Be my accountability, but. But the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. What? <laughs> oh no.